and we're getting warmer weather in Seattle. Uh, so I think that might be a reason why a few people are uh, a little bit late in coming this evening. But um, we're really privileged um, to welcome um, Hirokazu Koreda uh, this evening. I am Ken Oshima, a professor of architecture and chair of the University of Washington Japanese Studies program. Um, and so we are really pleased to welcome um, Koreda san for our final event for the Mitsubishi Corporation Lecture Series this year, which is focused on the arts of Japan. Bakugo, um, and um, many other aspects. So, um, Koreda-san is here at our invitation in collaboration with the Seattle International Film Festival. Um, the film festival is kicking off their um, whole slew of events tonight. Um, and uh, so I know a few people had to actually go off for that, but um, uh, this partnership has allowed us to um, really connect with our um, community and um, uh, have the U.S. debut of the film After the Storm that um, we'll be uh, showing tomorrow night at the uh, Queen Anne uh, venue, and then on Saturday afternoon at the Egyptian. So if you don't have tickets and are interested in going, I think there might be a possibility. I think they've been going very quickly, but um, it's definitely something to be um, seen because we'll have um, a conversation afterwards um, with Cordelia San about his whole perspective on making a film. So um, this would not be possible without the tremendous generosity of the Mitsubishi Corporation. And so I would like to um, especially thank um, Toshi Kawachi, who is the Vice President of Mitsubishi Corporation. <laughs> and it is through their partnership that we are able to bring this lecture series to um, Actually, for the fourth year, we've had a whole range of lectures, but this is certainly um, an apex of this. And so, again, let us thank you. So, at this time, I'd like to introduce um, Professor Devinder Bobnik um, of the University of Washington Department of Asian Languages and Literature. Um, Professor Bobnik teaches modern Japanese literature with a particular interest in uh, fiction of Okinawa. And uh, we just learned uh, that Koneda san's wife has connections to Okinawa, and so there's a very interesting um, way that we're all connected. Um, um, Professor Bowick is also the UW Japanese program coordinator. And, um, also, most importantly, teaching a course uh, this spring on Corneta Sun's uh, film. And um, so I think many of the students that are here this evening um, were extremely fortunate to be able to see clips and um, talk with Corneta Sun. And um, I cannot um, thank, uh, think of actually anyone better to introduce Corneta Sun than the vendor. So um, without further ado, I'd like to. myself uh, about uh, how all the stars align to make this happen. Um, a year ago, I um, mentioned to a colleague I wanted to teach Korea sans films. Next time I had a film course, and that person said, oh, maybe he'll come. It'll be um, time for the film festival. And I thought, mm, yeah, right. <laughs> and here he is. Um, so uh, thank you um, uh, very, very much to um, to Kawaji san and his predecessor Kazoi san and to my colleagues in the uh, Japan Studies program and um, 
Ellen's been a wonderful help during this um, whole um, pre-planning of the event. I also like to thank Yuta Kamenishi and Chris Lowey for technical help um, tonight. So without further ado, let me um, introduce um, our guest, um, Koreda Hirokazu, um, who is a filmmaker, a producer, screenwriter, and editor, um, who is from Tokyo. Um, Mr. Koreda received his undergraduate degree from Waseda University. Um, and although he aspired to be a novelist, uh, he began his career as an assistant director of documentaries for TV Man Union. Uh, these documentaries led to a career in film, uh, and today he has his own company called Banku Production. His first feature film, Maburoshi, appeared in 1995 and won the Grand Osala Prize at the Venice Film Festival. Perhaps best known for Nobody Knows um, from 2004 and Like Father, Like Son, 2013, uh, Mr. Koreda has directed one film after another, covering an astonishing range of topics from grief uh, that some of you may have remembered from Maburoshi to childhood in many, many films. Um, Nobody Knows, Kiseki, I Wish, um, and Hana, Yori Mo Nao, uh, to vengeance um, in the samurai uh, film, Hana Yori Mo Nao. These films have won Mr. Koreeda a number of awards. Uh, besides the Golden Osala, um, Mr. Koreeda won Best Film and Best Screenplay for uh, Afterlife, a wonderful life in Japanese, Wanda Kuru Dai. That might remind you of another movie you've seen. Um, in 2004, uh, he won Best Film and Best Director for Nobody Knows. And in 2009, he won Best Director for Still Walking, Aru Demo, Aru Demo. In 2013, at the Cannes Film Festival, um, Mr. Correra won the Jury Award for Like Father, Like Son. Um, and with each passing year, um, the list grows longer. In 2015, Yokohama, at the Yokohama Film Festival, he won Best Director for Our Little Sister. Some of you may have seen that here in Seattle last year. Um, in 2016, Best Film for um, the film that will be screening at SIF uh, Friday and Saturday. Uh, my own interest in um, Koreeda san's work um, arrives, or derives from um, the documentary style uh, that um, is uh, a characteristic of the early work of Mr. Koreeda. Um, I think that those elements of documentary are pronounced in his featured films. And um, this blurring between feature or narrative film um, is one that uh, that I um, think of along the lines of a question that um, many of us in Japanese literature think about, the line between fiction and non-fiction. Sometimes it's not so clear. So Mr. Koreeda blurs um, these lines in creating his film, um, lines that is, between documentary and narrative film. Uh, and um, also, I think, between media, and this is something I'd, I'd like perhaps um, to hear about in the Q&A, uh, if you're interested. And by that, I mean that um, even while I watch film uh, by Koreeda Sam, I, uh, feel um, that actually what I'm watching is, or what I'm experiencing is poetry um, in motion. So um, with that, um, I'd like um, you to join me in thanking uh, Mr. Koreda for coming to the University of Washington and agreeing to take part in a conversation that will follow.
everyone everyone hear me? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay? Yeah. All right. So um, what I've prepared is a um, number of questions. Um, some of the questions will have a visual a clip from one of Mr. Coranda's films. Chris on the side will be um, showing us the clips in order of my questions. So I think what we'll do is um, look at the first clip um, first, and then I'll um, raise a question. So this is um, a clip from the end of Maboroshi. Thank <laughs> you. 
nobody knows. Um, and my students know this clip as the Akira point of view clip. This is Akira.
、はい、演出しなければいけないので。子供が集中力がないとき、飽きたとき、疲れたとき。眠いとき、心して喧嘩をしたとき、どう対処すると、その一旦下のモチベーションが上がるかということは上手になりました。結構いろんなことに応用ができる。あとは、今、あのそのポテトチップなので、それを見せずという映画で、あの、前田,前田兄弟を撮った時も多分二人,人が久しぶりに出会って、えー、熊本のうちに泊まらせてもらって縁側で二人で久しぶりに仲良く話すシーンなんだけどその二人でポテトチップ食べるのね。It's a fantastic scene. Fantastic. It's a good scene. So, you know, the audition is a little bit of 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 a そがすごく味が濃くてうまいってそれが一番好きでそれをどっちが食べるかで兄ちゃんといつも喧嘩するそういうのは僕男兄弟がいないからあの経験がなかったからあ面白いなと思ってそういうあの彼らから出てきたアイディアをそのまま脚本に書き込んで作ってるシーンがあの IBC という映画がすごく多いんですけど。So I don't have a...フロービアのエフェクト。I hear the bell and I, 
I'm not hypnotized, I'm, but something happens to me. Uh, the effect is so immediate. So, as I said, this starts from early on in 1995 and continues since the bike fell, and it continues to sound throughout um, Puerto San's oeuvre. Um, in Seattle, a bell um, wards off bears. Um, what um, import does the sound of a bell or a wind chime have in your work?
はい、数字の1に付きの方5です Given the、uh, Japanese title of the film,、uh, Wanda Furu Life,、um, Wonderful, uh, Wonderful Life,、um, I imagine that、uh, one of the inspirations for Koreeda san might have been、um, the American film, It's a Wonderful Life,、uh, in which retracing one's past is the central、uh, plot、um, line. Um, and in your film, a young female counselor、uh, attempts to capture her earliest personal memories.、Uh, but in the same film, some interviewees, the premise of the film is to、um, have、uh, those who have died but not yet moved on capture one memory that they will. Take with them for eternity.、Um, so, some interviewees also speak、um, about Japan's history, particularly its、uh, wartime past. Some of them talk about World War II,、uh, one of them talks about the Nini no Mujika from earlier on. So, my question has to do with、uh, these、uh, moments in the film. What are the ways in which you ask? Uh, your viewers to reflect on Japan's past and why.
集まった意見に聞いてると、まあ、これは並べ方によっては昭和史,昭和史のいろ,んないろんな時代をあの改装する彼らの語りによってそういうものになりうるなというのは思ったのでそういうセレクションをしました。And it's a historical narrative of the Showa period
Um, so I'd like to uh, segue now to this film, um, which interests me a great deal uh, because of the temporality of it. Um, the story, uh, as I said, depicts the miraculous light and abject suicide of Nozomi and Erdogan. And for me, uh, it addresses both Japan's contemporary moment impacted by neoliberalism, globalism, globalization, um, that is, um, the efficiency with which corporations and companies replace human labor with non-human labor. Um, the Erdahl's owner is one of these disposable types, works at a restaurant, um, but there are many other people behind him uh, should he lose his job or uh, even non-human replacements. Uh, so that's the contemporary temporality. Um, there's also the past, as we saw in Afterlife, uh, that's invoked, um, particularly when uh, one considers Koreda's um, choice of uh, the actress who plays the air doll. The fact that Nozomi goes from an object uh, to someone with a heart and subjectivity frees her somewhat from uh, an easy overlap or conflation that some viewers uh, might make between her and um, what a few of my students noticed before I said anything, and that is um, a um, so-called comfort woman. What interests me most about Erdogan uh, is not Nozomi per se, but rather the fact that with her dying breath, as this scene showed, um, she sends um, spores of a dandelion to so many other people. Her owner lying in bed with another air doll that replaces Nozomi, also named Nozomi, the old man who's on oxygen, the shut-in who opens the uh, window at the end where light streams in. Why do you connect Nozomi to these other characters? And does this have something to do with past and present? Another moment from the past takes place when um, we have an allusion to an incident from 1936, the Abe Sada uh, Chiken, or uh, incident of a crime. So this uh, movie, this film, uh, was based 
on a uh, manga by a um, woman by the name of Goda Yoshia. And it, in it, uh, there is a, what's called a Dutch wife, who uh, is the inflatable sex partner. Um, and so in the, in the story, uh, and in the, in the film and also in the manga, this character goes, works in a video <coughs> store and falls in love with the uh, an employee there. Uh, manager of this video store. And, uh, but she's punctured by mail, and air is released. And this, this uh, store manager blows air into her. And before that moment, she had a complex that she wasn't uh, real. But through incorporating this air um, from a human being, she feels redeemed and happy. そう、環境は可能性であるとか、欠如が他者と繋がる可能性であるっていうのは意外とポジティブな、ね、メッセージって言われるから、モチーフだったんですよね。そう、でも、物語が結構刺激的に終わるので、刺激的なアウトドアあ
癖っなわけですそりゃあいつもお母さんにしてもらえるとねいや自分でそりゃあねそれがどこかわりだつまり Just one example, we discussed three hair combing scenes.、Um, one in I Wish, another in Nobody Knows, when the mother is telling the young girl why she,、um, why she can't go to school because she wants to. And the mom says、um, to her, kids、um, without fathers are bullied at school, so it's better for you not, not to go to school. Um, and then there's a third、um, hair combing scene、um, we discussed in class this week. So, in this film,、um, I wish the, the poor clip you just saw、um, shows、uh, a non biological mother and daughter relation that forms just like no ties between these two individuals.、Um, and nobody knows there's a biological tie, mother and daughter. But、um, there's also neglect.、Um, in your first feature film, Maboroshi,、um, Yumiko remarries,、uh, presenting a kind of continuation of tradition,、uh, perhaps.、Uh, but more recent films, like I Wish and After the Storm, which some of us will see this weekend, show、uh, the breakup of marriage and family. So, I wanted to ask、um, what does family mean in your filmmaking, or has it changed over time?
capture them. And what they were actually doing was, with their legs, doing YMCA. <laughs> <laughs> <笑>あれ、別の、別の部屋で、別のシーンを撮ってた時に、隣の部屋で、はじめちゃったらうるさくて撮影ができないので、それに行ってみたら面白かったので、え、慌てて回したんですけど。So <笑> I had been filming in another room and there was a racket going on next door and I went to see what it was all about and that is what I saw and I ran to get my camera to uh, capture that. 日本で公開したバージョンはね、YMCA全部撮ってですよ。So <笑> in the Japanese version, you can actually see the kids dancing with their using their legs to dance YMCA. YMCA の権利が高くて <笑><笑> The rights to YMCA are so outrageous. あの、あのね、髪髪を少しなぜ好きかっていうとね、多分人がね、向き合わないって言ってもいいから。向き合わず同じ方向を向いてるツーショットとか多分結構構図としてはなかなかない構図なので、だいたい二人の人向き合うか
てその中で僕がチョイスをするってちょっと変わったやり方をしたんですけどそのことによって語られる思い出のバリエーションのこう多様性を確保したかった自分で全部書くと多分自分の好みなものになりそうだったんですねそれであの5人のスタッフにビデオカメラを持ってもらって毎日東京の街をさまよってもらって。毎週土曜日にその映像を持ち寄ってプレゼンをしてもらうっていうやり方で脚本を作りをしました。So it wasn't,、uh, I wasn't the only one conducting the interviews. It was my staff, about five people, who carried cameras and interviewed people in Tokyo. And I selected the interviews from among the interviews that they presented to me. In doing so, I wanted to be able to、uh, select,、um, I want for there to be some kind of diversity. I didn't want it to be solely my selections.、Right? And on Saturday, they would make these pre pre、uh, presentations to me, and I would select them. The reason why we had 600 is probably because it was just so fascinating. <laughs> Very、uh, memorable, significant、um, experience for us. Yes, please. Thank you. I have a question about the relationship between the non biological. Father, for example, Hannah,、uh, like father, like son, still walking. And、uh, we will be that now in this case, the, the relationship between the, the father, who is not the biological father, sometimes the stepfather, sometimes the adopted aunt, Aborochi, and the, the child that is welcome in or is. Prospectively welcome in the, in the probably future household. Thank you. So, the relationship between the non biological father and the、yes. uh, son figure. Maboraji. Uh, still walking,、mm. Hana, and、uh, mm. so、that. like father. <laughs> like that. So that. Yeah, there's quite a few out there. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> かっていうか逆に言うと父親と父親っていうものを考えるためにそういうシチュエーションを持ってきたかもしれないですね。人が多分そのシチュエーションは自覚的にならないといけないから父親が父親になるとそれで持ち込んでもちろん。主人公が要するに父親になるということは意識的にならざるを得ない状況。Probably creating、uh, instances where there is no other alternative but for the father to become、uh, that father figure. The like father, like son, equal, in terms of the time, I'm not sure about the time, 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 the time
一緒に時間の曲多分少ないんで仕事としてはその辺はこう自,自分の人生の悩みみたいなものがストレートに出た映画かもしれないですね in films after like father like son、uh, becoming a father with myself I began to think of、uh, blood relations and having、um, spent a lot of time away Having spent time away from my child, I began to think of what, it, what is it that makes a father a father? I wonder if、um, one of the films I, you might be thinking about is Distance. At the very end of it, there's a burning scene, and the last word, I think, is almost a father.、Um, I, I hope we'll talk about that in class tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, please. Um, director, I really like your our little sister and、uh, After the Storm. So, from what I learned,、uh, After the Storm is actually translated、uh, is actually tra translated from Deeper than the Sea from Japanese. So, I'm wondering like,、um, where does the Deeper than the Sea title come from and how do you see the difference from the two translations?、Mm -hmm.
to use. How about so and so? But I um, through and through want her to uh, take part in my films, and so that's why I asked her to
だからまずマスそれをマスターポジションって呼んでもいいんですけどマスターポジションにつけてそこで押せるんだったらそのワンカットをするそこで押せないシーンであればそれを基準にしてじゃあ何度もカットを重ねていくことでそのシーンが成立するかっていうことは考えますけどまずその一番そのシーンを取る上で一番いいポジションはどこかっていうのを探すっていうのが大事なんです。Uh, so who knows? Maybe it's age. Maybe my eyesight's failing. Maybe I just、uh, no longer have the patience to do all of the complicated editing.、Um, uh, maybe it depends on who、uh, I was taught by. But、uh, in the end, a good scene.、Uh, there is only one good scene. And you have to find it. And it depends on the、uh, cooperation between the director and the camera. And that scene is called the master position. And uh, whether that um, uh, involves movement or stability uh, uh, depends on what that master position is, what that cut is. Thank you.、Um, we'll take one more question and then、um, close、um, the formal part of this. And there's someone in the back who's been waiting. Yes, please.、Uh, so、Would you mentioned... stand up so we can hear you?、Um, someone already mentioned how you cast the same kind of actors a lot in the film. And I was wondering, as you mentioned, that there are not that many Japanese actors who are that well of acting, but when you do. By casting, what are some aspects of what some of those acting skills that you look for? Maybe I said too much when I said that there were no for you. Sorry, 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 sorry. だいぶ差はそうだけど、ずいぶん20代、30代あの、いい作品に出たいっていう意欲のある若手の役者が増えたと思います。基準はね、基本的にとあって、あ撮りたいと思うかどうかなんだよね。And I have a sense of whether I want to use it or not in film. It has nothing to do with、uh, my type or a type of individual. I, I, I need them or I need to go home and think of when they are going to be able to Whether that actor will facilitate the progression of the story, the narrative, and that's basically how I determine. オリジナルで描くときはあ,のあるこう明快なイメージが事前にあるわけじゃないのでオーディションで会ってその子の声を聞いて脚本を書き始めた時に意外とその人に寄せて書き直しを始めるんですけどそれが進んだらこの人なんだなっていう後で分かる感じ。So it's not that、uh, I have a concrete、uh, image、uh, from the very beginning. The audition occurs、uh, and Uh, and the script is provided, and then after I meet the actor, I rewrite the script. And it's at that point when I can say, Yes, that's that's him or her. So, quite a nice quite. And for me, voice is very important. Voice
the rhythm of their voices, the quality of their voices together, individually, uh, apart, and the overall balance of their voices. That's what I took into consideration. Thank you all very much for these great questions. I'd like you to join me once more in thanking our guest, Korea Nassau. Thank you.